Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Christmas video. So today we are working on the Christmas tree. Since I did my big tree, just like the one I've done the last year, two years, I'm not sure. It's my Mary's Angels tree with all my Hallmark ornaments. I love it. It's the pretty roses and sea foams. I'm not going to show you that tree because you've seen it. I will link it down below. Instead, we're going to be doing my rose gold tree. It is literally a rose gold Christmas tree. I love it so much. I got it several years ago and I've done it differently almost every year um, because it's never had a specific theme. It has base ornaments that are blush pink, white, um, rose gold and this really bright almost magenta fuchsia color because those colors stand out nicely on the tree since it's not a traditional green um, but we've done resin ornaments on this tree we've done just standard pink ornaments on this tree I will leave all the previous years below but this year I decided to do something different and I really wanted to showcase all of the ornaments I've purchased over the last couple years, last six years, cruising with my mom. So every single time we go to a port, we get a Christmas ornament. And 90% of the time, I pick one that I like. And so it ends up being pink, white, blush, rose gold, because that's just the colors I'm drawn to. Um, and so they worked really well on this tree, actually. But not always. Like, there are a few from, like, Portugal a um, couple other places where you just can't find that kind of aesthetic and I'm going to buy an ornament even if it doesn't fit the aesthetic from those places, especially in Europe. So while I could make this tree very, very nautical themed, I could, you know, put all the blush pinks away. I've got my little cute white and pink birds and make it, you know, sea themed with ocean type ornaments. I didn't necessarily want to buy all new ornaments every single time I want to change out the tree that gets really expensive especially when you're changing it out every year instead I wanted to keep the base ornaments the same and just change out the like feature ornaments so instead of the resin ornaments where we did all my sentimental flowers and hummingbirds from last year we're doing the cruise themed flowers and to tie it all together I did a brand new tree topper and I put a fun little saying on the bottom tree color. It says, I'd rather be cruising. I think it turned out really, really cute. I will link both of those projects. I did them both with my Cricut, the anchor tree topper and the tree collar um, down below because that's a quick and easy way to kind of tie the whole tree together without buying all new ornaments every single year. But I'm gonna give you guys a close up at both of those elements, at all of the cruise ornaments. I did leave one set of my resin acrylic ornaments on, the ones that say like Christmassy kind of themed things, just because I like them and I thought they tied things together a little bit more since I don't have a million cruise ornaments. I had room for a couple more bigger pieces. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring y'all in. Probably won't tell you a story for every single ornament, but I'm gonna show you the main ones that I really enjoy and just kind of how they go together so that if you're going on a bunch of trips and you're looking for ornaments, you might be able to think like, how can I tie these all together on a tree as opposed to just which ornament do I specifically like from that place? I think it turned out super cute. Let's go. All right, y'all. So starting at the top of the tree, you can see my new tree topper. It is basswood and corrugated cardstock. I painted it. And I just think it goes with the entire theme of the tree. From here, you can see we did put some of my resin and acrylic uh, vinyl ornaments before we really start getting to the cruise ornaments. So this one from Bonaire was quite obviously a Christmas ornament. I was able to pick that I wanted these kind of blush colors. It is beautiful. There's also ones from Finland. This was a little homemade reindeer. I have this sweet little bell from Capri. I have a keychain. Keychains make great ornaments from Copenhagen. That's the little mermaid. Then we start getting into a few of the blue ornaments. This little guy is from Spain and he is actually a figurine. You can see I have placed him on here 
two ornament hooks around his little legs. If I cannot find an ornament that I love, but I can find a keychain or a figurine or something else that will work, I'll often buy it and then I'll use my Cricut to add a metal tag showing the place or even the year that I purchased that ornament. I did an entire video on engraving metal tags for your ornaments last year, so I'll link that down below. This ornament from Santorini is one of my favorites. He is in the middle spot of honor here on my tree. And while most of the ornaments are that pink, sometimes it is really hard when you are in these places to not get the blues. So I have a few pops of blue, a few things like this little carnival cruise ship that my mom picked up for me. We've got our little, oh. I don't even know what these are. They, they came in a set of five, so mom and I split them, um, and they were from Turkey. They're so cute. We have ones like this one that were specifically an ornament, Merry Christmas from Aruba. We have another keychain from Jamaica. He's yellow. Little seashell angel from one of the ports. They are just so much fun to look at. When we come around the tree, we have just as many fun ornaments on this side. So we have things like my little Santa. I didn't get him on a cruise. I got him here in town, but I just thought he looked like he could be on a cruise. So as I like this tree, if I want to keep putting it up, I will keep adding those kind of ornaments, those nautical pieces like this jellyfish that I picked up on a trip to Florida. He is so cute and he's definitely nautical. So here's my little Portuguese rooster that I told you about. Definitely not to theme, but he can still be there. He's another figurine and I just have him on an ornament hook. So I love this little tree. I love how many memories it brings. There are so many ornaments that you'll probably never see every single one, but it's still fun to look through. And as hard as it is to believe, I've been on about 12 cruises in the last six years. I've been very, very fortunate. It's the first time I've been cruising in my life. My mom started taking me. And this is only the ornaments from my two big cruises in Europe and a few small cruises here in the US with my brother and my mom. I am missing ornaments from the first like five or six cruises. Obviously I have put them safely together somewhere for safekeeping uh, and I'm going to have to locate them. So hopefully once I find them, this tree will be a lot more full. But for now, I'm very happy with him. Let me show you the bottom, the tree collar, because I think that's a really cute detail you could do for any tree. So last but not least, after our tree topper, after all our cruise ornaments, our not cruise ornaments, our birds, our poinsettias. I love these tree collars. They are so cute and perfect for my dogs because these guys, love you guys, but they think tree skirts are just uh, fun places to, oh, hi <laughs> treats. Okay, thank you guys. I don't need your help. Give me a minute. So if you are in a home with dogs, Tree collars are amazing because the dogs cannot destroy them. So I have taken the standard silver tree collar that I use every year and added a fun, I'd rather be cruising decal to it. I think this is really sweet. It puts that word cruising right on the tree and it's removable vinyl. So if I don't like it in the future, I can take it off. I can turn it around. I can put another quote on there next year for whatever the heck I want, huh, bitty bitty. And as you can see, I have one on my other tree as well. It is copper and hammered. So that probably wouldn't be as well for this project, work as well, but this silver is very smooth and it worked perfectly. I thought it was a really cute addition to the tree. And the dogs seem to like it. They loved their little cameo in this video, especially because now they have to go outside if they're gonna keep getting in all the camera shots. But I hope you liked this tree. I'm in love with it. And I, I still love the other tree. I'm sorry, I'm just not one of those girlies that's gonna get all new ornaments every single year and have a brand new Christmas tree. 
I like using the same things. You only use them once a year. Like, so if that's you, please leave me a comment down below if you liked this video, if you liked this tree, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.